For this, we're going to forget and confront Reyna. So you went anyway, huh? Even though I told you to leave me alone. Why couldn't you just forget and leave me alone? Ah, so that's it. <laughs> you keep want to keep hurting me, right? <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but if it's revenge you, you're after, it won't work. Nope. Can't blow my brains out down here. The dark won't let you. Oh, did I just hurt your feelings? Did you bring your little gun all the way down here for nothing? Are you disappointed? I didn't bring it. There's no point. I didn't shoot you when you took Tanaka, and I won't now. Yeah, don't try and trick me. That doesn't mean you don't want to. <laughs> everything I tried to think that you would be the one to show up here in the end. Funny, isn't it? Isn't it? After all, you were only supposed to be a guest star on my little show. A little temporary addition to liven things up a little bit. Then you kept showing up uninvited, thinking up every sharp thing you could find to poke me with. Now I can't get rid of you. See? It is funny, right? No matter what we do, we're forced together again. We've got to make the best of it. You're right. We can't avoid each other forever. Fate's forced us together, so all we can do is see it through to the end. Yet when I saw you in the forest, you were down here, weren't you? Where else? Welcome to the end of the line. I don't understand it. It's awful down here. Why didn't you try to get back to the surface? Why would I go back? What would be the point? When I do, I look around and don't even recognize it anymore. The streets are different. The sounds have changed. Everyone I knew and ever cared about is gone. You don't know what it's like. Feeling the same and feeling all my old pain again and again and again. People don't change. No matter what, no matter how much time goes, they all still look at me like I'm a little flea-bitten dog to be kicked around and ignored. They hate me. In the end, I'll end up back here anyway. So I fight it. At least down here, nothing changes. When I was little, they said everything would be okay if I had the mask. But then Mommy died and the police took it away from me, and nothing's gone right since. No one ever cared about me. The police, the foster homes, the other girls in the agency. They all hated me. They wanted me dead. You're just like the rest of them. Maybe someday you'll grow old and die. And I'll still be here, unless you give me that mask. Isn't that simple? Having the mask isn't going to solve your problems. It is that simple. Everyone always tells me it can't be simple, but why not? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. If you'd just given it to me in the first place, you could have lived your stupid little fantasy life. Instead, you had to be a hero and get involved in something that was none of your business. Why shouldn't I use it? My problem's not as important as yours. That's it, isn't it? Things about you and making your life happy again. I won't let you be happy. I won't. If you won't help me, then fine. But I'll keep hurting you if you think that's bad now. You don't know the half of it. You can give it to me and go on pretending to be happy while I find the door again. Again? You've seen it before. Exactly what you think is going to happen when you find it. Everything I've found tells me it's dangerous. No, you're wrong. The door isn't for you. The collector said so. He said if I had the mask, I could find it again. He said if I found a shrine belonging to Kiwana, that I could find it. Ah. So you met him too. Reyna, he wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up. You don't know anything. He told me the mask would let me see the door again. Just like... Just like the day Mommy died. And they put the mask on me and I kept my eyes closed like Mommy told me to. Even when people started getting sick and crying. Then I saw it. The door. Even with my eyes still closed. And I looked at it. I heard Mommy's voice. And I knew if I found it, everything would be okay. I opened my eyes and it was gone. They took the mask and I saw Mommy on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore. Like a doll. It was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong. But he told me if I found the mask I could make it right again. Now I'm being punished for being a big screw-up. Not being pure like they told me to be. Except people like Higashi. They shouldn't have hurt me. They should have left me alone. I had to punish them. Higashi did deserve it. Very much so. Higashi was a creep and a bastard. I just wanted to stop them from hurting me. It doesn't make me bad, right? You understand, don't you? The funny thing is that if Tanaka was here, he'd understand. Even after everything you did to him. That's the kind of guy he is. Reina, it's not all your fault. This is 
beyond you. It always has been. That's why Tanaka was so intent on following you from the start. You weren't just some orphan girl. He somehow saw the darkness that was behind you. If only he had told me. I could have been there for him. Helped him. But... but no. No. You could have helped me, Ayami. He was helping me. He was going to save me. Then why? If he was helping you, why hurt him? I didn't want to hurt Tanaka, but it was the only way to bring him here. The same way I was brought here. I thought I'd figured it out. My white knight abandoned me. Went somewhere else. We know where he is. Turns out it was just another stupid idea from a, from a stupid girl. What you, did with, what you did to Tanaka was wrong, but you can still make this right. You brought him down with you that night. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Just tell me what happened from the beginning. It's hard to remember. Please, try. Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. When I went back to Shinjuku, I... I, some, I remembered how I ended up in the dark. I knew what I had to do so Tanaka could be with me. Like the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud like in Kamakura. So I made you come into the tunnel with me. And Tanaka so it could wake up. And I slit his throat and went back to the dark and I waited. Tanaka woke up down there, but the two, two, but the mask was gone. He was alive? He was like me. Or I thought he was. At first he seemed okay, but then he started wandering around, staring at his space, talking to people who weren't there. Like the other people who were normally killed and uh, given to the the dark. Poor Tanaka. I think I broke him, Ayami chan So he was down here. Tell me where he is. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is, and I don't care. Tanaka abandoned me. And when he was here, he kept mumbling on and on about how he was going to help you. He gave you something he didn't, he... That traitor. How else would you be able to keep finding me? He even said he saw the door, but he didn't take me there. I hate him. Why did he leave me? I didn't think Tanaka would help such a stupid little girl like me. It was dumb to try and bring him here. The collector said I'd find the door with the mask. I just didn't want to be alone, is all. Now you're here, too, so I guess the mask is, too. I didn't need him after all. He's gone. You're wrong. I can feel him somewhere, Dan. Somewhere here. He's waiting for me. You can? Maybe he's at the door. Please, take me there. Don't leave me. The mask opened the dark and took me straight to Reyna. And now that I'm here, I can feel it, pulsing like a heartbeat. The door. The unknowable place where chance and fate have no importance. That's where Kazuki is. I know now what will happen if I lead her there. She'll get what she truly wants. She'll get to rest and finally be free. No more pain. No more suffering. Maybe that's what Kazuki would have wanted. If I do that, the dark would change shape again and any hope of finding him would be lost. He'd be trapped here waiting for me. I'd never be able to tell him the truth behind everything he suffered for. That's if the Kazuki Tanaka that's left here is the same man I love. Either way, I have to abandon someone. It's my responsibility. I have to choose. I think first we're going to lead, lead Rain at the door. Please don't hurt me. What I did to, to Tanaka was the only way. You get it, right? Right? No, you're, you're wrong. But then again, maybe there isn't a right way to begin with. In your own way, you're the same as me. Grasping at whatever you could. He may still be down here, like you said. Would the Tanaka I find be the real him, though? I used the mask. Would I be the real me? I'm not so sure anymore. You're really not going to go after him? No. I have to give up even more of myself. Succumb even more to this darkness. You wouldn't have wanted that. You know, for a long time, your face was all I saw. Ever since Kamakura. It motivated me to push through my sadness because I thought I was doing something good. Putting my problems behind me. Becoming the hero and slaying some ancient evil. I became a demon. Simple of all my hatred. Anything bad that happened to me that day. No, I, I'm not. I'm not a demon. 
No, you're not. Just a girl. Always were. Besides, I'm no hero. I'm not sure if there is such a thing. I realize that now. Me? You? Tanaka? All three of us were just paper dolls caught in a storm, being blown by winds that were so far out of our control. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of it to happen. I just wanted a way out. I wanted it to be normal. Tanaka was one of the smartest detectives. No, one of the smartest people I knew. I think he knew what would happen to him. Maybe that's why he was so distant. I wish things had played out differently for us. And for you. Reina, I know what happened to you. All of it. I don't know how I saw all of those things, but I can't just ignore them. No one deserves to experience what you did, Reina. Every day you lived in hell, with no love or light. It was awful. We failed you, and I'm sorry. I forgive you, Reina. It hurts to say it. That's selfish, isn't it? I can't forget the pain you caused me despite how hard I tried. But I do forgive you, because somewhere along the way this horrible cycle has to end. I don't want to hurt people anymore. Then come with me. Let me help you. But why? Where are we going? To the door. You said you heard your mom, right? Let's go see her. Ah. I'm scared. What if she's not there? What if I was wrong? It's okay. There's nothing more to be afraid of. You could rest like you always wanted. No more coming back. No more hurting people. So I can't tell you what's waiting for you. I know it's better than this. I promise. Ayami, do you think it'll hurt? No. How do you know? I don't know how, but the dark responds to the feelings of the people in it. Every time we butt heads, it pushed me out. It feels different now. It feels peaceful. What I'm trying to say is I don't want to hurt you, Reyna. I only want to help. I think the dark will, too. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you, Ayami. I don't know why you helped me, but thank you. For years, Reina searched for the door. The whole time it was nearby, hidden by a thick darkness that shifted in reaction to her own hatred and fear. The mask began to tug at me as if guiding us. Together, hand in hand, it appeared in front of us. I wasn't sure how I had noticed it before. It was like it had always been there. Until that moment, I'd never noticed how small and truly fragile she was. Standing in front of the door, she shook like a leaf. Squeezing her hand, I reassured her, told her that I forgave her, knowing that if she took a step forward, it would all be over and she'd find peace. I thought maybe I would, too. For a long time, she stood, saying nothing, and eventually she let go of my hand and moved through the door. And as soon as she did, her image began to fade. She was smiling. Not the unhinged smile from my past, but her true smile. The smile of a little girl. It's that smile free of hate and malice. I remember now. Dark remained even after she left, but it began to change as I remained within it, suddenly agitated and expansive like it was growing. Somehow I knew what little light I saw was because of Reyna. Her fear and hatred diffused out of the shadows. Thanks to that light, I was able to find the surface. The mask didn't quiet after Reyna's passing, and every day it became more restless. Oh, it's creepy. One day I cast it into the sea near Kamakura, despite the Kawana woman's warning. It returned to me. Occasionally I could still feel it, scratching like a pin needle in the back of my skull. When the girl faded, other memories did too. Impressions of a man called Kazuki Tanaka and a love we once shared. I find pictures in my apartment that I know are him, and all I see is the face of a stranger looking up at me. Some nights I wake up with tears in my eyes and images of that face crying out to me from some dark corner of my dreams. I desperately try to remember why that memory remains. It's something about those pictures, and staying in that apartment feels familiar, even if I can't make sense of it some days. I remember for sure is that is Reyna's smile, knowing that in those final moments she forgave me for what I did to her. 
Finally, I was able to feel peace. Achievement pops only a child. An ending, perhaps, where we save Reyna. From herself. This feels right for being for being completely honest. It just feels right. The idea of breaking the cycle of suffering by helping Reyna to go free. To achieve peace. Interesting. Most interesting. You're nothing but a crow, feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hmm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. I thought you'd be happy. Ito found forgiveness through the context of her suffering by drowning herself in the past. A historian's dream. A gesture of extraordinary kindness, yes, but history does not smile at the happiness of one. It favors the welfare of all. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tra tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the force of fate and chance. The different threads present a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage nonetheless. A myriad. Interesting, interesting. Who would have thought one so interested in history would adhere to a single truth? On the contrary, if history has taught me anything, it is that there is no one truth. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yes, all our truth, all grand insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral, and observe it long enough and we may yet learn something. No, she is not your plaything. It is not your decision. There is only one way this can end. Only one way for the world to remain intact and stop the thing that's coming. It must be protected. The rule must be performed. Tch, stop. So stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it already. You've asked it before. Indulge me. I asked her the same question. If the dancing puppet looks up and sees its strings, does it remain a puppet? What a fate and chance in that. I answer your bit with one of my own. You see the storm clouds approaching. Though you, can, though you can take shelter or alter your course, does the storm not come regardless? Pah, no fun. You never tolerated my philosophical side. Nor you me when I tell you how things are. I suppose that's because we are one and the same. But what of her? All we can do is see. Eventually she will end up there. There's only one path which will hold the world together. I feel like that conversation might be consistent. All paths, to some degree. So, I'll probably be skipping it going forward. Oh shit. 
Okay, this time, we'll leave Reyna and save Ka save Kazuki. Don't know if I'm a good person or not. At least if I could find Tanaka, I can do something to help for once. One good thing. What are you saying? I can't save you, Reyna, but maybe I can save him. So you'll leave me here after all. Sorry, Reyna. You can't. Tanaka said he'd help me. He believed me. You have to believe me. Help me, please. I wanted you to help me. That's why he led you here. Maybe he did. Maybe he was scared like we all are. I couldn't say. Either way, if I don't try and help him, what was all this for? Why did I suffer like this? Someday, I hope you can find your answers. I don't want you to suffer, really. Tanaka doesn't have a chance if I don't go find him now. Goodbye, Reyna. Wait, Ayami! <laughs> I was right about you. I was right. You don't care about me. It was I. Ayami? Uh, Ayami? Please don't leave me here. Please. This would benefit for... More than a few sprite expressions, I think. I did all there was to do. Walked away from her and didn't look back. But I could feel her eyes on me. I was affected by her misery. I knew that leaving her there would deepen the shadows. It was too late to atone for what I did to her. Someday I knew I'd come face to face. Punishment for it. I truly wanted to help her, but I couldn't ignore Kazuki's presence within that darkness. Kazuki is so close. Up and down, shadow and light. There's nothing here to orient myself. All I can do is stumble forward. I can still feel the door, but there's something else alongside it. Kazuki. I can't hear him, or see him. But he's there, like a memory coming to my head all its own. Yet I can't see the door or anything else through this darkness. What if I'm trapped down here forever, lost like Reina and Tanaka? No, there is a way. The only way to pierce this darkness on my own. But I'm scared to do it. A tool forged in blood and bending my mind to its breaking point has become my last chance to move forward. The historian said the mask bearer could see the door. But I'm not the mask bearer. If I wear it, I would have to accept the consequences. Touching it alone almost drove me mad. It strained what wearing it put on my mind. I could turn back to try and find the service and keep what little of my sanity I had left. The choice is simple turn to the light or descend deeper into the darkness. really only one choice here. Touch the door. Things changed. I used my childhood, the feelings I had, a sense of self. It ripped out of me as I entered, fading. I have to focus while I'm still me. There's someone else here. Kazuki, is it you? Stay put, I'll find you. Tanaka? Tanaka? Kazuki, is that you? Kazuki, say something. You can hear me, right? What if Reina was right? What if he's already gone? Kazuki, please. Who? Ito. A Ayami? 
Ayami, why are you here? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I heard you, and I'm here now. I can't believe it. Oh. Is, is it really you? What's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. It's strange. I feel light. Memories are coming back. Sorry, I need a little time. I think I remember. Yami, how are you here? You shouldn't be here. No, I probably shouldn't, but I came for you. The way I got here, I can remember it now. Ayami, she didn't. No, I came here on my own, but I... I had to leave her in the dark. Sorry, it was selfish, but it was the only way to find you. Poor thing. Sorry to put you through all that. It's been hard on you. Yami, I... I can't remember clearly. I have to know what happened that night in the sewer. Why were you there? I know why I was there. I was looking for you. It was a trap and I fell right into it. Maybe you think I'm a fool, but I was desperate. Where she was, a girl I had shot before and you, you so helpless with a bag over your head. It was swimming. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't shoot her, so I watched as she slit your throat. Let you die. I doubt I could have done better in your shoes. What's wrong? Is it true? Is what true? She went with her willingly. That you gave her the mask. Kuski, I have to know. Did you know what would happen? It's true. Not how you say. You saw her. A girl surrounded by an impossible darkness who I'd obsessed over for her death, and she was alive somehow, still wanting my help, so I went with her. Thought I'd found truth, real truth, the kind of truth that tells us why we're here. I didn't tell you because I convinced myself that it would protect you. Faced with the impossible, I dived straight in without thinking of anyone else, what the consequences would be. Now, we've been, now that we're here in this place, I don't think I have it in me. Maybe I, sh maybe I should be. And I have to place a long, take a long, hard look in the mirror. Over the last few weeks, I've been grasping at straws in a world I didn't understand, that I didn't even know existed. Because Raina shattered everything I thought I knew. Step by step, I, w I went after her, trying to figure out how some poor girl could be the focal point of everything that didn't make sense in my life. I enraged when I saw her alive that night. Suddenly, the doors of possibility opened wide. My world no longer was no longer in my control. Then she slit your throat as I as I watched and did nothing. I couldn't accept that you were gone. I couldn't sit around and wait for the puzzle to solve itself. We didn't solve it, did we? All those formless shapes aren't any more solid now. No, maybe that wasn't the point. What do you mean? We're not meant to know what it all means. And here we are, trying to change something that can't be changed. The mask and a shape-shifting darkness. They're made by people who wanted control over the unknown. People like us who were confronted with a mystery that they had, they had to solve. Fate and chance, life and death, the march of time, having control over them is an illusion. When I stand here with you, I understand that now. Guess that makes us lousy detectives, huh? Huh. Were we ever that good to begin with? I got myself kidnapped and you were dumb enough to follow me. Thanks, Yami. All those mysteries suddenly pale in comparison to the thought of having another day in our drafty apartment. Yeah. It was you who called me, wasn't it? That night in the sewer. Remember, everything since then is hazy. Wondered aimlessly. I was so tired and my body was so heavy. I started hearing other voices and seeing shapes in the darkness. Formless things that felt like people I desperately wanted to see, telling me everything would be alright if I kept moving towards them. People I haven't seen in a long time. One day I saw my mother. She told me she missed me and to keep walking through the door and beyond. Did I ever tell you about my mother? She died when you were 15. She couldn't have been here. Still, I heard her like I can hear you now. Kasuki, what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know, but I'm glad we're in it together. We made a hell of a team, didn't we? 
Following each other into the other's me into the other's messes. I'm trying to say is I I Ah uh, Kasuki, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. How about you? It's nothing serious. It's never happened before. Must be reacting to you. Yummy, thank you for finding me, but you can't stay here. What are you saying? Neither can you. That's why I'm here, right? Thank you for coming for me. Makes me happy to see you. Happier than you know. Love you. Stop talking like that. You can save it for when we're back. Yami, stop. I'm saying it because I may never have another chance. When I finally arrived at the door, I felt a warmth. Something told me if I kept walking, with all the pain and uncertainty I felt would go away. And why didn't you? Because I was waiting for you. Somehow I knew you were coming for me. I wanted to see you and have one last self-centered moment. Last? No, stop saying that! You're the one who isn't supposed to be here. Can't you see that? It's supposed to turn out this way. Tell me why you can't come back with me. Why I... I... Because I died. I'm sorry, I feel a little dizzy. Understandable. When I was lost in the dark, everything, every time I moved forward, a piece of me was left in my footsteps, and all I could feel was fear. Until I reached the door, and everything faded away. Ever since you've arrived, I've remembered who I was. All my happiness and joy, but all my suffering and doubt as well. I kept walking away from the door, maybe I'd forget it for good. All those things that made us human can't be here. If you stay, you'll fade away, Ayami. So many people told me that being with you was a mistake and that I should find some normal girl to settle down with. Normal girls didn't understand me. They didn't make me feel... They didn't make me better. I chose right. I wouldn't be who I am without you. But you would be nothing if you stayed here. Kasuki, I... Uh, no, there has to be a way. You said it yourself. This place is beyond our control. So you're giving up? After all this suffering? After everything I went through? That's not the man I love. That's this place. Ayami. Nothing more than to come back with you, but I know if I leave, I won't be whole. The longer you stay here, the more it will destroy who you are. You have to turn back. He's right. This is the end of the road. I guess Reyna was right after all. This place changed you. At least for now I can talk to you, but see you again and tell you that I tried. There isn't much time. I can feel myself being torn apart. Turning to the surface is the only chance I have of saving myself. Kasuki, I won't leave you. You have to. You can't take me back. The only way for you to get back to the surface is to go. And now, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Uh, Ayami, don't be stupid. Stupid. Every day since Reina sent you here, the dark has been seeping into my existence and drawing me towards it. So I followed its pull, and when I did, I heard you called me. Then everything fell apart. I was kicked off the police force. My friends abandoned me. I couldn't even keep track of what was real. So I chose to run towards the dark and everything I fear at most, despite every instinct telling me not to. To find you. Ayami. When I chose to go to the, through the door, I gave up a piece of myself. I feel like the only reason I remember what I am is because you're here with me. Now that I'm standing here, I'm not afraid anymore. Ayami, you have to understand. I haven't been like able, able to talk and remember myself for a long time. If we stay here, this won't be our reality. Both, both fade to nothing. Everyone has to face death, Kazuki. For when you said you wanted to forget the world above, I was hurt. I think I understand it now. Every day I lifted my feet and trudged onwards, not really knowing why. Now that we're together, I get it. We've suffered enough, Tanaka. I need to be with you, so let's forget the world together. You can't expect me to let you throw your life away. I won't let you. Let me? Since when have you been able to stop me? It's different. Exactly, do you think you're saving me from? My life unraveled. Half of our friends think I killed you. The only thing that would be left for me is a mental hospital or prison. No, that's no way to live. My mind's made up. Stubborn as always, huh? Of course, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't. Can't argue with you there. To be honest, part of me wanted this. Selfish, I know, but I was scared. Once I had passed through the door, I didn't want to continue. And though every bone in my body told me to, told me, it's not, but fear, 
told me to, but fear always held me back. I'm sorry, Ayami. Getting you here. For everything. That was your idea of leading me. You didn't do a very good job. No, Kazuki, I came here myself, and I don't regret a second of it, even if it didn't turn out like we'd hoped. As terrible as the last few weeks are, we saw something. Part of the mystery that everyone desperately wishes to see. And now we get to go to the next step, wherever that is. Together. Knowing for certain there's more to it. I guess that makes us some of the lucky ones. You're really not scared. Little. No, that's wrong. I am. A lot. I'm really scared. I'm not scared of this place. Just of what I don't know. Still a chance for you to turn back. I wonder what I gave up already by coming down here. Raina, that poor girl. Her mind was broken by trying to reconcile that world and this one. Can't return only to become lost for the rest of my life. So what now? It's easy, really. We start walking. Here, take my hand. Promise, promise not to let go. I promise. Well, Tanaka, we've really gotten ourselves in the deep end now, huh? Let's find out what happens next. Together. So we did the only thing that there was to. Walked forward, hand in hand. As the door gets farther away, so do my memories of that world beyond it. Places and places that I saw so recently feel like a lifetime ago. Who knows what happens next? But at least we're, go we're together. Alone together. The achievement that just popped. Again, this feels like a really fitting ending. Especially the way she talked about bull life, life unraveling around her. Skip the credits. You cannot skip the credits. Interesting. Most interesting. We're just going to see what he has to say about this. Think about a crow feeding on the carrier that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Give me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. One had her own desire. Only gave her a little push. What did your push lead to? Oblivion in the darkness of what was left of that poor man. Ah, but is, is it not noble? Her desires led her to chase after him for love or for the truth. Perhaps it was out of some sense of noble obligation. It doesn't matter. What of those left behind? At what cost was her peace granted? Time is not a single thread, but a complex tra tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. Different threads present a myriad of truths, and I think we're caught up to the normal conversation now, yes. Okay. So we have two more choices in the dark with Kazuki, so two more endings in there we can get. Okay. So this time... We stayed together once. This time we're gonna bring him home. You have to go. Silly Kazuki always trying to be noble and steal the spotlight. We're in it together no matter how bad it gets. It's our one promise to each other from the start. Stick it out when things get tough. This is different. I won't sit here and watch you fall apart. Stop talking down to me like I don't get it. I've seen everything you have. More even. I'll admit you're right. I didn't fully ex I don't fully understand what's going on. For the last few weeks, I've been clutching at whatever shreds of the truth I could find, not knowing if I could really believe any of it. I have a feeling when you, when you were investigating her, you came across impossible things like I did. But the thing is, you're just as lost as me. Neither of us is going to make sense of anything if we stay here. The only thing left for us here is death. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. It's obvious what you think. But Kazuki, I want us to live. If I leave here, I might not be myself. No one will believe you. That's true. Nothing's going to be the same. But I think I can think of worse possibilities. Staying in this place is what hurt Reina and destroyed her mind. That poor thing. I won't let it happen to you. Taking you up to the light is the risk I'm willing to take. I left you. I'd regret it for the rest of my life. And I won't have a life, but a chance of one if I stay here. 
not wrong. We've both given up something by being, being here, but that doesn't mean we should give up. You trust me, right? I wouldn't have waited if I didn't. Ah, uh, my head. You don't have much time. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Ayami, I'm scared. I didn't want to admit it, but I am. I'm terrified. The only certainty I've had since I got here is that the further I go, the more I forget. That's why I've stayed put. I'm scared, too. No matter what I become, you promise, you'll promise to stay with me. Always. No matter what. No matter what. Come on, we have to go. Escape this nightmare. Okay, but what if... Whatever tomorrow brings, we'll deal with it then. One step at a time. Besides, you always said a what if isn't good enough for a detective. Tch, use my own words against me. You chose me because you knew I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't accept the easy way out. Well, I suffered too much to accept this as my ending. Night in the sewer. That was the last time I felt like myself. Until now, I guess. And we'll find out what's next together. I'll be okay, I promise. Okay. Come on, let's go. Is this really gonna go well? All that talk about him not feeling whole. Missing parts of himself. Together we, we returned through the door, and as I emerged, I remember gasping. Instead of coming up from air, I was being submerged for a long time. The breath escaped me, a piece of me went with it. A piece I can't qualify or name. I was lost to that place. Its toll taken. I never felt right after leaving. Trudging onwards, we heard sobbing in the hollow space, echoing off the walls. As they continued, the shadows lost all definition and everything turned to an inky darkness. I talked to Kuski as I walked. As we neared the surface, his speech turned to murmurs, whispers, and eventually nothing. Eventually I dragged him to the light, his eyes lost in some distant dream. After that day, Kuski never spoke again. I lay in bed. His eyes glazed over, looking into a world I couldn't see. Never left the dark. After the door, the memories I had of his murder and kidnapping became mine alone, and the world continued as if they never happened. To everyone else, he'd just suffered some sort of accident. For his sake, I cast the mask into the sea near Kamakura. Despite the warnings I received, it never returned to me. I still feel it occasionally, scratching at the back of my mind like a needle. Several months after returning, I and her grandmother were found dead. Stabbed to death in the shrine they tended. They never found a suspect. Oh, no. We left Reina. Reina killed them. Oh, Jesus. For leaving the dark, I had trouble remembering things. Parents. My time in the police. Childhood. I see, pe I see pictures. I can feel impressions. But the images won't appear. Things became more confusing and more erratic. An achievement that popped, I'll remember how you were. Things became more confusing and more erratic, so I stay home with, with Tanaka. Some nights I wake up in a cold sweat, afraid, and I don't know why. At least we're together. I promised him we would be. That is a... That is a rough ending. Interesting. Most interesting. You're nothing but a crow, feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. And what exactly did that push achieve? The desires led her after that man. For love, or for the truth, or perhaps some sense of obligation. Alas, a piece of her left behind in the dark in exchange for a continued existence on this earth. Is it not most interesting? The drive to survive brings us. In the tale of Izanagi, he was told not to look back as he left the underworld. 
Once one does, all that awaits them is the knowledge of death. A human mistake, an inevitable one. Fitting, don't you think? And yet the world needs to tear itself apart. That is an apt comparison for this ending. Tale of Izanagi and Izanami. And lastly, what he really wants. Stay together is quite fitting for everything Ami has been through. You've been saved yourself. Kazuki, I, I can't stay here. I know. You don't have to say anything. You can't stay here and I can't leave. Guess it only leaves one option then, huh? Don't worry about me. Now that you've said it and it's in the open, I feel at peace. My choice has led me to this, but that doesn't mean you deserve to suffer. Besides, you've got your whole life ahead of you. So many adventures left to have. I can accept that. Kazuki, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, Ayami, you've got nothing to be sorry about. Not after everything I put you through. Don't apologize for saving yourself. It's not that. You're wrong. I do have to apologize. If not for now, then for before. When you were going after Reina, I didn't take you seriously. I thought you'd gone crazy chasing after some orphan girl. I wasn't like you at all, so I ignored it. Hey, it's my fault you got here in the first place. If I'd noticed the obvious signs that you were in trouble and helped you, maybe we could have helped her, too. Damn it, I'm really useless, aren't I? Ayami. You don't honestly believe that, do you? I meant what I said before. We chose each other for a reason. Because you understood me better than I thought anyone ever could. Why are you bringing this up now? I always understood what made me tick. Made me better by never accepting the easy answer. I didn't tell you what I'd found because I knew you'd follow me and I'd drag you down with me. So it may be useful to you for once and let you off the hook. It may be easy to stay here with me, but you're not about the easy answer. Never was very good at leaving me leaving you alone. Huh, that's true. Ever regret it? Choosing me, I mean. Nope. You? had my doubts when you'd forget to buy the coffee. What? I had to keep you on your toes somehow. K it's strange, isn't it? Talking so normally in a place like this. K my head. I can't stay down here much longer. I know. Look at us. We can't do anything right, can we? Nope. But this is usual for us. Always running headfirst into things even when we don't know didn't know how it'd turn out. It's a wonder we ever got anything done at all. What happens, what happens to you? Doesn't matter. Night in the sewer. I was never the same after that. With you coming through the door, it's the first time I felt like the, the old me in a long time. This could never be anything other than a goodbye. Just I don't want it to be. Ah. We'll see each other again. One way or another. At least I found you glad I got to see you. I can't promise I won't stop searching for this place, what it all means. Guess I should have expected that from the great Ayami Ito. Promise, promise me you'll make a life when you get out of here. Be happy. I'll try. You have to go. I know. Just let me stay a little longer. Okay. Love you. You too. Through all the dark times I had, you were always my light, my rock. When you disappeared, I was worried I'd never get to tell you that. Kazuki, it's time for me to go. Till next time. Wherever you end up, you wait for me, right? You know it. Thank you for everything, Yami. Goodbye. I stood glued to the ground at that impossible place for a long time, taking in Tanaka's face one last time. Once I turned around, I never looked back, ignoring every instinct in my body. Tanaka remained silent. And I met beyond that door was a shade, a distant memory of a man I once loved, who was taken from me in the sewers under Shinjuku. 
The egg was the only way that... The only way to honor him. To try to make something new on top of the foundation of the life we'd built together. As I emerged from the door, I gasped as if air had returned to my lungs after being submerged for a long time. Stretching toward the surface, I heard quiet sobbing in the hollow space. Echoing off the walls, they continued the shadows. As they continued, the shadows lost definition, turning into a shapeless, inky blackness. Why couldn't we have helped Reyna after we left? Because if we... It feels like if we leave Reyna... She just fucking... Kills the Kiwanis. I doesn't deserve to die. I didn't do anything wrong. After the same after that day, little pieces of my past began to slip away. My childhood, so my parents, my time in the police. Will I forget him too? Some nights I wake up in a cold sweat, feeling terrified that something is coming and I don't know why. Several months after returning, my and her grandmother were found dead, stabbed to death in the shrine they tended. They never found a suspect. Shh. I eventually cast the mask into the sea near Kamakura. Despite the warnings I received, it never returned to me. I still feel it occasionally, scratching at the back of my mind like a needle. When I feel my own foundations beginning to give way, I carry on to keep the promise I made to him. I keep trying. For Tanaka. Ending, Goodbye, I love you. Ah, oh, that feels like... Anything where we go into the dark. Without becoming the mask bearer. It just feels like a bad ending. If only because Reina's still suffering. And the Kiwanas get killed. The re remotely the best out of them is the one where Ayami stays in the dark and leaves with Katsuki. Anything where she leaves the dark after going through the door. She loses a part of herself there. Even still, the best of the worst branch of endings is still pretty bad. Anything where she goes into the dark, she dooms Reyna and dooms the Kiwanas at Reyna's broken hand. Interesting. Most interesting. You know nothing but a crow beating on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hmm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desire. I only gave her a little push. And what exactly did that push achieve? Her desires led her after that man. For love or for the truth? Perhaps some sense of obligation? Alas, a piece of her left behind in the dark in exchange for her continued existence on this earth. Is it not interesting what the drive to survive brings us? The tale of Izanagi, he was told not to look back as he left the underworld. For once, once one does, all that awaits them is the knowledge of death. A human mistake. Inevitable one. Fitting, don't you think? And yet the world continues to tear itself apart. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. Different threads present a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage, nonetheless. Myriad. Interesting. Interesting. We're back on the same path. Essentially the same conversation as the Polkowski out ending. Now, if we go to Kamakura, instead of going to the sewers in the dark, feel strange to be back on these streets knowing everything I do now. Ancient cults, a troubled family, and a girl named Reyna, all united by the history of death and suffering caused by a simple object. All that meaningless death of innocent people and for what? To protect mankind? To make us better? Don't make me laugh. No more. I've gone down this rabbit hole far enough. I refuse to be a slave to the mask any longer. I'll destroy it, turn it back to ashes, and do the world a favor. My final defiant act as reality breaks apart at the seams. The Kwanas are waiting at the shrine. They know as well as I do the torment the mask brings with it. Let's hope the old woman can do what she says she can.
Hello. Stop that. Not again, I won't let you control me. Why now, is it trying to stop me? This mask born out of death and suffering shouldn't be in this world. If those people were trying to restore things. Why am I thinking about that? I have to keep moving. What's this feeling? Fear? I'm afraid to go forward. I have to go back. I can't move. Death. Everything about this place feels like death. But I'm wrong. Kuski, Reina, they could still be down there. That's what it wants. It what's why I need to destroy it. But oh god, what, what, what will happen? Why is it pleading with me? Those lives trapped in the mask want to be free, don't they? Then why? I could still turn back. Now's my last chance. I'm so confused. What do I do? Can we leave? Oh shit, we can actually leave. We can actually back out of this. But we're not for the sake of recording all of the endings. Huh? Ito! So you came after all? Yes, of course she did. She knew it was the right thing to do. You brought something, didn't you? The compound. I did. I found an old wooden amulet. You were right. The darkness I felt there was the same. Seriously? Wait, is this actually real? When I was there, I saw visions from the past of people who are gone now. I know about the ritual Tokimasa tricked them into performing. How could you have let it happen? She was just a girl. No answer I can give that would satisfy you. No answer? Is that the best you can do? That's why you fled, isn't it? You knew all about Tokimasa's ritual and what would happen to everyone who was left behind. You took Mai and Takashi and ran and did nothing to stop it. Stop it? What would have changed? And Miku knew what staying meant for her children as well as I did. She was willing to die however Tokimasa told her to. I couldn't persuade my own daughter to save herself. You think I didn't try? The police never would have believed an old woman talking about ancient rituals. I had no choice. They were monsters. They weren't monsters, they were lost, looking for answers in a world that had none for them. Much like you, like us. My ears with a mask could hear them sometimes in the darkness along with voices I did not recognize. I always thought they were vengeful, restless, and punishing me for my sins. Once we purify the mask, perhaps they will forgive us. Did you find the girl who's chasing you, Miss Reina? Did you ask her forgiveness? Forgiveness? I'm not sure if that's possible anymore. But everything that girl went through, all of her self-hatred and her sorrow, are par part of the mask now. I felt it all through that at this shrine the day I shot her. I think that this will put a stop to all of it. The whispers, Reina, all the strange things we've seen. Atonement is a journey, one that expands past our time on this earth. These allow us to take the first step to righting our own sins. Our sins, huh? Hold on! I've only ever done good luck rituals and harmless little blessings. This is different. Grandma, this is real. I don't know if I can do this. My, calm yourself. Ritual has meaning in its very act. It's the god's way of preparing us for the true test. You are a pure child. Combined with your will, the ritual will gain power. It will work. It must. Why me? Because you are not corrupted by it. Only you can. You can bring your mother peace. Please, Mai. You have to try. I know you think it's crazy, but this mask has caused a lot of people to suffer. It doesn't matter if you believe us. Just do it knowing that it'll help me and your grandma move on. You haven't seen what we've seen, so I don't blame you for being skeptical, but you can believe in helping us, right? I just want this all to end. Me too. Every day it's been harder to keep things straight, and I think this mask is, per is partly to blame. It's silly. I'm not religious. I never have been. But I want this all to stop. Be normal again. I want to believe that it will work, and in you. So please, I'm begging you to try. Okay. Thank you, Mai. Mai, are you ready? I just need a moment to prepare. What if we're wrong? What do you mean? 
if the mask isn't the problem. What for making it worse? An old man told me that the mask didn't create the shadows. It only opens your vision to them. So are we doing the right thing? What if we're missing something? Are you losing your resolve? No, it's just Tanaka, the man who died, the one I was searching for. He always said a what if is, isn't good enough for, de for a detective. I guess what happens to die hard if there's still so much I don't understand. And you never will. It's a matter of faith, child. Okay, I'm ready. Emiko, please forgive me for leading you to those people and for what happened to you. I tried to save you. I, I try. I pray you find peace. Grandma? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. As the ritual continued, I felt an overwhelming sadness. Like something had been ripped out of me that I would never find again. That moment the whispers of the mask turned to desperate, pleading screams. I closed my eyes and hugged myself like a child, feeling at that moment utterly engulfed in fear. Then there was silence. When I opened my eyes, the mask was split in two. And at that moment, the Kazuki was dead and had been all along. I left the shrine in silence. I never returned. Nothing was quite right after that day. Raina's presence was gone, but I started to feel other things. The shadows began to take on new, fearful shapes. Tokyo began to change. Crime shot up and the murder rate peaked at an all-time high that year. The police were so swamped with the wave of violence that they reinstated me as a homicide detective. The investigation into me was dropped entirely. I quit within six months. I just didn't have the stomach for it anymore, and after what happened to Kazuki, I could never focus. What if the ritual was a mistake? What if everything that happened since is all my fault? Sometimes I wake up at night wondering if the world of the dark was the truth and my life now is a dream. An afterimage after being exposed to bright flash. I don't go out much these days. I can't bear to face the real world. Interesting. Most interesting. You know nothing but a crow feeding on the carrier that time leaves in its wake. <laughs> Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. No one had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. The result, this cannot be. Not right at all. The masquerade of this world? I won't accept it. Why? Would you care? Shall I tell the reason it bothers you so? Because you gain nothing from this truth. But make no mistake, it is a truth. Another possibility. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. And at the last, we move on. Now, if you've watched this playlist, you've seen the requirements for getting the true ending, which only happens on New Game Plus. Once we do that, we become the Mask Bearer. Reina, I need you to listen to me. You? I thought I got rid of you. You should be dead. You can't get rid of me. No matter what we do, we'll keep meeting. Keep fighting each other endlessly until one of us breaks. Then somehow do it all over again. We're caught in a web with every path leading back to the center the same place. We can't escape it. What are you talking about? I feel strange. Why can't you leave me alone? Because I wasn't meant to. Don't worry. If I'm right, it'll be over soon. I promise. Huh? Why? You gonna try and get revenge? Well, it won't work down here. Too bad for you, Ayami-chan. Petty things like revenge don't matter anymore. If I didn't know how, th how my story ended, it would. But Reyna, even you must realize that this place... The door. The mask. It's all beyond you. Beyond any of us. Didn't you ever ask yourself what it all meant? Huh? What do you mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's all pointless. Like me. 
Mummy said I was special, but she was wrong. I did so many terrible things, and it was all my fault. So now I'm being punished for it. That's not true. I'm just a girl who got caught up in something bigger than her. Like me. I guess that makes us kindred spirits, in a weird way. You're not like me. You don't, you don't know what I've been through. You're wrong. I do know what happened to you. All of it. I can't deny our lives took different paths, and I can't pretend to understand how you felt. But I do know that what happened to you wasn't your fault. None of it. Something's different. You've changed. Why aren't you mad about Tanaka? I am. I'm mad as hell that he died the way he did. I loved him, and he deserved better. There's nothing I can do. It's already happened. There's nothing we could have, could have done to change it. No matter what I do differently, no matter how I try and make things play out, that's how it has to happen. What are you going to do to me? Do to you? I'm going to give you what you want. What I want? That's right. You want the mask back, right? You want it to end all this. I can give you that by helping you find the door. The door? I heard Mommy's voice. That's right. Will you let me help you? Okay. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on. Don't be afraid. Carefully, I placed the mask over Reina's face again and allowed her to briefly see the dark the way she was meant to see it. Her whole body shook as she walked, as if wearing the mask had brought back the little girl who was abandoned in the forest at the base of Mount Fuji. Eventually, we found the door. Fear seemed to melt away, and she stood very still in front of it for a long time. As she walked through it, I thought I heard her whisper the words, I'm sorry. Okay, be sure. So her physical body faded, and her feelings of anguish that permeated and shaped the dark began to fade as well. The dark began to change. Slowly, as if it had been released, I was waking from a long slumber. As it awoke, I could feel it expanding, sending probing fingers into the, into the city streets above. After time, the mask, now unbound, reappeared. It had come back to me. I didn't have much time to do what I'd come for. Left unchecked, the dark and whatever it is, whatever is in it, spill over into our world and destroy the lives of the unassuming people above. I can't help but think of my own normal life, a life that I'll now never have the chance to see for myself. Still, I can't let other people suffer in the same way I suffered, the way Reyna suffered. I deserve a chance at a future, right? There's no one else who can do this for them. It has to be me. I wish I knew why, but maybe it's not important. If only everyone knew it was lurking in the shadows under the surface, the world hidden at the edges of their vision, would they change willingly if they did? If the Kami, whatever they are, want humankind to change or to perish, are people really capable of becoming anything better than the selfish, flawed creatures they are? Is this worth it? There's only one way to find out. In my mind, I can see it perfectly. The symbol that Chikako Shichijo used to bind herself to the mask, forged in blood. I must do the same. The ninth? <laughs> Some nifty knife, knife manship here. It hurts. Searing my skin like a brand calling out for a life to seal my blood to the souls trapped in the mask. Death is the only sufficient payment. I may not have control over my final destination, but I can choose how I get there. I won't sacrifice innocent lives to the mask like those who came before me. There's only one option left to me. The remains of Kazuki Tanaka pulses like a heartbeat from the other side of the door, getting weaker and weaker by the moment. Living memory, its consciousness reflecting off of me like a mirror. I won't leave him there to suffer in purgatory. I'll release him. Doing so, I'll give the mask what it requires. At least as part of the mask, he'll be whole again. I'll say goodbye to you, Kazuki, and I'll be able to say goodbye to Ayami Ito. It's 
once again, wear the mask. This time to make it ours. Although technically both times we do wear the mask. Before we bind it to us. If you're seeking out this playlist, this video, specifically because I labeled it all endings, I apologize for the extra commentary. I know some people don't like that. In these videos. But if you're still watching this after all of my commentary, then you've brought this upon yourself. And I thank you for watching this far. Changed. Memories of my childhood, feelings I had, my sense of self, ripped out of me as I entered, fading. I have to focus. I'm still me. There's someone else here. Kazuki, is it you? Stay put. Find you. Tanaka. Tanaka. Kazuki, is that you? Kazuki, say something. You can hear me, right? What if Rena was right? What if he's already gone? Oh god. Kazuki, please. Who? Ito. Ayami. Uh, Ayami, why are you why are you here? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I heard you, and I'm here now. It's okay, give it a second. You'll be alright. Ayami, what are you what are you doing here? I don't understand. Kazuki, you never change, do you? You never could let things be, could you? You always had to understand. And it didn't... didn't bring you here, did she? Your hand. There's blood on your hand. There's blood on your glove. It doesn't matter. I came here on my own. I... I feel strange, Ayami. I know. You've been waiting a long time, haven't you? Yes. I remember hearing your voice. We're a team, after all. Partners to the end. Ayami, I can't remember clearly. I didn't know what happened that night, the sewer. Why were you there? You got yourself mixed up in something that you shouldn't have. I showed up ready to save you. But I failed. You died that night, Kazuki. No, I can't be. The difference between this and the normal door route is that she flat out tells me he's dead. That's how it is. I know that you felt pulled apart waiting for me here. I'm sorry for letting you suffer like this, Kazuki. Mammy, what do you say? Like, this is the path where she actually has the answers she was looking for. Kazuki, I missed you. I spent so much time chasing you thinking that there was some land over the rainbow where I could get you back. But you've been gone for a long time. It's confusing for you, but you know it too, don't you? I... For after Reina took me into the sewers, it was like I was split in two. Only parts of me came here. The others, I, I'm not sure. Just listen to me for a sec, alright? My whole life people thought I was strange. Thought I wanted more than I was entitled to have. Without hesitating, you always accepted me for who I was. I'm so grateful for the time we had together. I love you. No matter what happens, we come. I want you to remember that. I know that, Ayami. Why are you telling me all this? Because I don't think there'll be another chance. Because once I do what I came here to do, I don't know what I'll be on the other side. What are you talking about? I've come to free you. Can't you see it? Be a fragment of yourself. Every moment you spend here, a bit more of you is lost. Ayami, I guess part of me knew this would happen. As I wandered down here alone, I knew it wouldn't last. We had our happiness, Ayami. Even if it was only for a little while, we found a deeper connection than most people do in a lifetime. 
This isn't how I wanted our story to end, but it has to end this way. I'd rather it be you. I mean, I don't want to be like this anymore. Everything I knew about myself slipping away. I know. I love you, Ayami. Ready. I'm sorry. Don't be. We'll see each other soon. We'll see each other again someday. I hope so. Ayami. The mask. I can hear the mask. Why? I'm sorry, Kuski. It's the only way to make you whole. Yummy, what have you done? We had our chance at happiness. This is the only way to give mankind a chance at theirs. Someday I'll give you your peace. I swear. Uh. As Kazuki slumps to the ground, I can feel the warmth of his blood on my skin. Slowly he begins to fade away. As he does, the whispers of the mask grow quiet. Blood grows cold. The mask has a new master. The dark is now mine to control. Stop from drawing in the poor and people above. This is my charge. To stand vigilant, give humanity a chance, whether it deserves it or not. No matter what, I will be here, waiting, trying to forget the life I had in exchange for the lives I can save. This is the sacrifice that all these loops are waiting for. As if to confirm it for us, there is no conversation with the historian, the collector, afterwards. Because this is the outcome they were waiting for us to arrive at. A disaster that led to the dark slowly bleeding out and affecting everyone was the, uh, just the tragedy around the binding of Raina to the mask. Everything she went through and everything she never knew about the mask and the dark. Her inability to uh, find the door. Her pain, her suffering. Everything gets uh, Pain blinds the door. Everything gets backed up. Everything goes out the window. There is one more thing, though. One more strange possibility waiting for us. It's time to begin our quest to collect some Maniki Nekos, I think. So for starters, we will get number one, who is hiding right there. And... Cherry Blossom Branch. Come back to that. Next one is actually hiding right here. By this dumpster thing. I think... Nope. There is one more to get in Kamakura. And that is eventually once we get into the house. There is an obvious one right about here. It's number three. We've seen this one a few times now, but it is on... our hospital nightstand. Just get rid of this fucking dialogue box so we can see it. 
There it is. Gotcha. Get in. Our next mannequin Neko is hiding in the corner over here. Get in. That is number five. This is one that always stumped me, but it's practically impossible to see by this box in the corner here. There he is. Probably can't see where my mouse highlighted there, but it's literally hidden in the darkness. You have to be looking, you have to know it's there to be able to find that one. We've seen this before, but I may as well show off the good sides of these, outco of these outcomes. I would care what happened to you. Wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long. Only about two years at four different shops. They all promise the same thing. Better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on those things. They've just been in the pits lately, and I've gotten some offers that might pay better, but... But? I've had clubs with more of an adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. A country girl like me doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and it'd be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But... I hear the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Uh, no, not really. Well, take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Just think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? I think I'd be getting advice from a cop. Alright, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Miho. Don't tell anyone, though. Bosses don't like it when the customers know our real names. You know, I kind of wish you did shut us down that night. Hell, maybe it would have made my life easier. See you around, detective. Good outcome confirmed. I think there's a cat around here, but it might not spawn until later. This is sour for poor Daiso. Never give up. You know, it might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should stick out to the end no matter what. A lot of it comes down to attitude, right? You stay down in the dumps, people will taste that emotion in the food. That's something no amount of alcohol can mask. Yeah, I guess. I've been beating myself up for weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, huh? And you know, I'm still competing with scumbags around here. I'll try and keep my head above the water for now. Thanks, Detective. Uh, Dayami. Stop by again anytime. Drinks on the house. Thanks, Daiso. Maybe I'll take you up on that one day. And that's Daiso saved. I don't know if the cat here spawns now or later. Nope, it's there. Gotcha, little bastard. I'll deal with this guy, but... Yeah, I don't really care with you. Yeah, you get, you're getting your good ending. There's a cat here. That's what I wanted. So I got my two cats in this Shinjuku visit. Now we're clear to go... Back into the sewers and then into Akihabara. Okay, cat time. There's one cat at the top of this bean bird sign thing. Right there. Then... Cat. Cat. It's... You, you, you've seen this one. It's right there. Cat. Cat acquired. Cat acquired. Alright. And now, we should be able to progress. Well, actually, first, let's go in the cat cafe. There's a cat on the counter here. So that's four cats in, Aki, in Akihabara. Oh, actually...
Order pancakes. Why not? Going to Sachiko's place. There's a cat in the upper corner here. Top shelf. That is... One, two, three, four, five Nekoatsumis in Akihabara. So we can now skip through the Akihabara quests. And we'll see you next at Kibuchika. Okay, Kabuchka now. I think there's two to get outside of here. One is right here by this sign. And the other is hiding back behind here. On top of this safe-like thing. And now we're gonna slip into the club. Where there is one... Shut up, Ryota. I don't care about talking to you. It's supposed to be... Oh, actually, there it is. It's on the bar here, right? Right here. Obtain. Okay, we've seen the one in here before. It is located right behind the... Takiyaki stand. Right there. Cat obtained. Okay, I don't think we can see the next cat in the current light, but I believe it is in the corner over here? Yep. It's literally in the corner right here, where I'm huddling. You heard the meow. We obtained the cat. We can't really see him with the current lighting, but we got him. Cat acquired. Okay. This time, it's our final visit to Shinjuku. Never actually got Miho's good ending. Uh oh, better sound the alarm. The detective is back. Damn it, every time I come in here, you... <laughs> Don't sweat it, detective. I'm just busting your chops. Besides, it's not my problem anymore. Huh? I'm out of here. Wait, that other job. The sketchy one. You didn't. Nope. Probably won't believe me, but I actually took your advice. Hell, I hardly believe it myself. How flattering. Tch, didn't think the hardball detective would be so thin-skinned. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, where are you headed? Don't know, but I think I'll leave the city. My big dreams kind of got drowned out. Now it's hard to be here and not fall back into the old habits. Like hitting the old reset button, right? Reset button, huh? I could use one of those right about now. Things got that bad? I don't know yet. Probably. The way to find out is to keep moving. Anything I can help with? Hey, don't give me that look. I mean it. No bullshit this time. Oh. Thanks, but I have to see out the rest of, the rest of my problems on my own. Then why did you come in here? Couldn't tell you. Guess I've just kind of gotten wrapped up in this place. It sounds like you're the one who needs to leave the city. Bad places lead to bad memories. Lead to bad decisions, if you ask me. I'm an expert on bad decisions. Oh. <laughs> Guess you can shut down this place for real now if you want. Be a good part in present. Good luck. Nah, you hold on to your luck. Looks like you, you, you can use it more than me. See you around, Ito. You got a diamond in the rough. Miho's a good girl. I hope she I hope she does well in, in life. Now, uh, we'll deal with Daiso, and there's good Daiso in. Oh, hey, Ayami. Perfect timing. Daiso, what's all this? Looks like you're all packed up. Like I said, perfect timing. I'm closing down. Oh, and this is... good? It's great. To be honest, the last time I saw you, I was kind of slipping again, you know? Going down memory lane, but in the worst way possible. But I remembered our conversation the other day. I said you added to the seasoning that flavors the food and all that. That sounds a lot more poetic than I would have said it, but yeah, I remember. Anyway, I realized that the only flavor that could come out of this place was bitter. Real bitter. Then, crazy thing, my wife comes in after refusing to see me for years. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right. Funny, she looks so much older than I remembered. Guess I came to a bit of a revelation when I saw her. I was clinging to, the, to this place, but for what? 
life that I haven't been living. For what if that'll never happen? I realized giving up was keeping this place going, not the other way around. Huh. I guess some people do have some happy endings. Ah, huh. if you call crippling debt happiness, it wasn't cheap to run this place. At least that wedding ring I pawned took care of rent for the short term. <laughs> so what are you gonna do what are you gonna do now? Well, Howard was always bugging me to join him on this on the road on that Takiyaki stand of his. You didn't seem to so keen on that the last time we talked. Well You've had a change of heart? Have you been talking to Haruto again? No, could you see it on your face is all. He's always been my biggest supporter. I think the least I can do is give the old bug a shot. Besides, with his help, I'm getting back in touch with my daughter. Things aren't all rainbows and daisies, but I'll get there somehow. What about you? Me? What about me? Did that idol magazine I gave you end up helping you? Hmm. Raised more questions than it answered. Doubt I can help you with all the complicated stuff you do. C -c Cooking was all I was ever good at. It's like you said, though. Keep following through until the end, right? Yeah, I guess so. Take care of yourself, Daiso. Don't be a stranger. Come by me and Haruto stand sometime. You're a good dude, Daiso. That's Daiso's good end. And... There's a cat hiding here, I believe. Yep, there it is. We'll get this asshole's good end. Oh my god, it's you. Now I'm famous and I'm going places. I'm going to be shift supervisor. Holy shit, I'm so cool. God. Holy fuck, I'm almost at my job. Goodbye. Alright, in we go. Let's see what the heck happens. This is the home of the final cat? It should be all the cats. Hopefully... I haven't, uh, bungled myself by getting a separate ending before getting the rest of the cats. It's the same run. Go deeper. Go deeper. I trudged to that oppressive, lonely place. I slowly became aware of someone else. The dark world could be under shutters. It racked with quiet sobs. I felt a numbing sadness spread through my body. The sensation in my felt in that place was familiar, and I knew right away why. Reina. She sat there like a lost little girl, like she'd been there for a long time and didn't know where to go. There's no fight in her body, no way for her to lash out. In that place, we were equals. She rose to her feet when she saw me, her eyes looking confused and desperate. She was the start of it all, everything I'd gone through. I put an end to it, one way or another. How do we resolve this? to, uh... Hmm. I wonder. Okay. We're gonna head through the... We're gonna head through the, uh... The door. Gotta find the door. I think that's the key. Figuring out if we got this ending. Touch the door. If all goes well. You're gonna be in suspense here. I'd be real mad if I didn't get it. So 
So as soon as I put my hand on the door, it's like the rug was pulled out from under me. This is different. Someone or something wants me to stay away from it. It's dragged me somewhere else. Yep. Okay. Last two weeks, I've seen memories that weren't my own. Talked to the dead. Gone to places that can't exist. Ready for anything. The cats! Or so I thought. You've got to be kidding me. I'm afraid not, Ayami. <sighs> Lady Fluffington? Oh good, now he can talk. What do you mean? I could always talk. Hold on, I get it. This is another trick. Reyna, trying to get me lost again? No, that's exactly the opposite of what we want. Th then let me go. Kazuki was so close. I could feel him. I'm afraid I can't do that. The man you know as Kazuki Tanaka has been gone a long time. You're just saying that because you didn't like him. You'd always squash him and... and I'm talking to my cat? Hmm. Most people would be grateful with a chance. Sorry, but can you blame me? You should be thanking me for bringing you here. Which is where exactly? It's not the door, is it? No, that place isn't meant for your kind. My kind? You mean humans? Exactly. You would have destroyed yourself by entering it. I saved you. Welcome to Nekogami Shrine, a place for lost cats. You are welcome here. Huh? Wait, a shrine for lost cats? Is that so surprising? We've watched over your kind for generations. They used to worship us in ancient Egypt. Worship? Yet when they used to meow at the one called Tanaka, he ignored me. He did not treat me with the reverence our noble kind deserves. He used to scratch the living hell out of him. For his insolence. <laughs> Excuse me. Worry not. You're safe here. But I didn't want this. I... Are you so sure? Instead of seeking the truth, you sought distraction. We're not so different, you and I. You two do. You two cannot resist the allure of Manaki Neko. <laughs> that said, you went to quite some lengths to find them all. But they were for you. They're your favorite, right? Yes, they bring me great pleasure. Did you not find it strange to keep coming across them? Only... Only... You left them for me to find, didn't you? Every day I saw you suffer through so much pain, so much sorrow. You didn't want that. You wanted a distraction. So I gave you a way out. I... Distraction? I can't deny that finding them gave me something to think about other than Kazuki and Reina, but... Don't worry. It's our duty to protect those who are lost and alone. However, finding the Maniki Nika would not have been enough to offer you safe haven. But you, Ayami Ito, you proved yourself worthy. Prove myself how exactly? Tomo! I was informed by an associate of your good deeds. You saved him and his brothers from their servitude. <laughs> if you free Sachiko's cats from Kasumi's control, you get into a cat heaven. The cat shrine. It's beautiful. Delivering them into the loving embrace of the woman with the colorful arms. Servitude? You mean Sachiko's cat cafe? Guess her idea of cat care was a little new age, but... But nothing. We were meant to be revered and petted and loved. Not paraded around with the public's amusement and the human's profit. I guess Kasumi went and shut that place down after all. But the cats at the cafe were safe? Thank goodness. Hmm. I feel a little... Tired all of a sudden. Come, have a seat. But I, I should. I think I will sit. All this time I've been using up the last of my energy trying to find Kazuki. I think it caught up to me. Yes, rest, Ayami. It's been so long since you've let yourself rest. That's true. Wasn't I looking for someone? Someone long gone. Oh. nice down here. So peaceful. Why don't you stay a while? Stay? Yes. Yes, I think I'd like that. There is always peace and light here. Here, there is no reason to be afraid. Are you sure there's nothing I'd forgotten? Nothing important. Now sleep. Sleep and forget the world above, my sweet Ayami. 
We have gotten the Cat God's blessing. And that's the end of Tokyo Dark. Oh, this time we're going to let the whole credits play out. That was a ride, to say the least. Oh. In a way, that's kind of touching, I think. The last end in this cruel cycle was... Uh, Yami finally getting some freaking sleep. Cause god this girl this gal needs it. And by respecting the cats. By respecting the cats and finding the maniki nekos. We obtain the blessing of the cat god, the cat god, Lady Fluffington. We earn refuge at the uh, the cat shrine. Interesting. Most interesting. You have nothing but a crow feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. <laughs> Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. No one had her own desires, I only gave her a little push. That said, this turn of events was most peculiar. <laughs> yes, this was um, unanticipated. One can't help but wonder if a great deal of human behavior may be affected by other forces. Indeed, perhaps we have a thing or two yet to learn. And now, boys, there's no need to be so melodramatic. Hi, Lady Fluffington! Yeah, where the hell did you come from? Shoo, shoo, be gone. How rude. I never did like animals. Too unpredictable. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. Different threads that present a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage nonetheless. A myriad. Interesting, interesting. I would have thought one so interested in history would adhere to a single truth. Contrary, history has taught me anything, it is that there is no one true. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yet all are true, all grant insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral. Observe it long enough, and we may yet learn something. No, she's not your plaything. It is not your decision. There's only one way this can end. Only one way for the world to remain intact and stop the thing that's coming. It must be protected. The role must be performed. Ch stubborn. So stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it already. You've asked it before. Indulge me. I asked her the same question. The dancing puppet looks up and sees its strings. Does it remain a puppet? What a fate and chance, then. I answer your riddle with one of my own. You see the storm clouds approaching, and though you can take shelter or alter your course, does the storm not come regardless? Ha! <laughs> no fun. You have never tolerated my philosophical side. Nor you me when I tell you how things are. I suppose that's because we are one and the same. But what of her? All we can do is see, but eventually she will end up there. There is only one path which will hold the world together. And we've already seen it. 
But alas, this is in fact the end. It's been quite the ride, I would say. This has been quite the time-consuming journey, getting everything that remained out of Tokyo dark. But we have done it. All in all, I really, all in all, I really enjoyed this game way more than I expected. It's probably deserves the criticism of not being as deep as the mechanics it has seems to lead you to believe. But for what it's able to do as a uh, with the origins with its origins as an indie title it is still quite the story it is quite the engaging story I think just the tail it manages to weave together and there's just enough of a branch to make things interesting Yeah, but the one biggest complaint I'd have overall is that based on how it advertises its mechanics and its systems with the spin system, you could have had more variation. But hey, I don't actually know that much about the creators and what they went on to make after Tokyo Dark. So, if they took what they learned from this game and learned from it, were able to do more along these lines, then I'm sure they could do great things. Because for what it is, Tokyo Dark is a really engaging story, I think. Where there's really only one core path. Like, we have sanity and professionalism. Those two are tied together. If your sanity and professionalism are high, you maintain your empathy. You can forgive Reyna and get the good endings. If your sanity and professionalism are low, you can only force Reyna through the door and then get lost in the dark afterwards. You can only suffer. And in uh, forcing her through the door to do what you claim to be breaking the cycle, you're only perpetuating it by forcing her through the door with more anger and malice. Perpetuating that anger and malice and revenge. If you leave her behind, you leave her behind to continue to pursue the mask and kill Realistically, we had to rank endings. The best endings for Ayami, personally, are leaving th leaving through leaving through the door with Kaski, Lady Fluffington's cat shrine, and then uh, saving Reyna. Saving Reyna frees her, protects the Kiwanas. It is... I think for what it's worth, the ending splits are effective in their own right in that just binary branch.
not really sure how much to go into detail beyond that, but yeah, I'm scrolling through the achievements here. Kill Goto, go to jail. Makes sense. Any ending where we enter the door and return, we suffer for it severely. The insanity ending was one of the most one of the most intriguing endings that we got. Just out of the pure premise of how things broke and how it recontextualizes some of what been through in that uh, in this reality did the game ever actually happen or was this what was happening all along this is just how things got reshaped when I only broke down I don't know I think purifying the mask was the best possible ending for me the first time through. So it did raise that question of uh, what's actually going on down in the dark. What if we're wrong? And then it went entirely wrong. Revenge is bad. Only made things worse. Any ending where you go into the dark is bad for Ayami. And for everyone else, because Rain is still remains. If we leave the dark, if we leave the door after entering the door, we lose part of ourselves and we're never the same. If we enter the door and leave Reina, Reina kills the Kiwanis. That's bad. Really, like. say the only objectively good ending overall beyond becoming the mask bearer is saving Reyna she was only a child anything beyond that it's exactly what the collector and historian wanted whatever the outcome Things don't end the best, and we always end up uh, right back where we started. An endless cycle. In the end, we were meant to become the bear. Take on this darkness and reshape it. Protect humanity outside from it. Maintain this flow of death seeping in deep underneath Tokyo. Which I felt like the big uh, afterlife thing we have going on. There's no one to there's no one to guide people to the door. Things get fucky wucky and start flowing out from underneath and causing problems on the surface. As long as the mask bearer is there and stays sane, they can keep the dark in check. People can go through, pass on, and have a chance at a normal life. And that's the end of my babbling for this series. This is the end of Tokyo Dark. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed. This has been quite a lot these past two videos. And at some point, I want to get back on the streaming thing, so I have to decide what I actually want to uh, get back on the wagon and stream again. I have a few ideas. But we'll see. It's hard making time in advance. That's not taken up by uh, other things going on. But that's enough for me. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Until then.
Thanks for watching.